Hi, it's me, Alan. So I um, had the idea that it's um, probably cool to show you more how I actually work on um, the pages and templates we are building for our themes. So what we add, um, want to add for our mock theme, the, our latest free theme on WordPress org, um, the blog theme is to show all the style variations because we have created so many. So we came up with this simple um, template here that we added in Figma and um, I started to recreate that as a pattern that we will also update in the next um, theme update. Uh, so that's really cool that we can also update patterns. So um, at the moment I um, have this page and I um, used the page no title page template. That's the first thing I added. And then um, I opened the list view or the document overview, um, how it's called now. Uh, so you kind of see how I built that. I added, um, because the page doesn't have a title, I added my title uh, manually inside this group block. And I wanted to have a little bit of a smaller width of, um, so I added here the restriction um, to have the width um, stop at 84 rem, just so the images aren't that large. And then I added um, a two column layout and just uh, my headings here. And then I'm just about to um, work on the four column layout. So I've created one already. So I can kind of, uh, that's just an image and um, the headings, so I kind of copy that and can I can paste it into the next kind of um, into the next column easily. So the only thing now I have to replace and I uploaded all my images. I'm doing that live in the demo. I uploaded all my images um, already. So um, I know what I'm working with and um, only thing I don't have at the moment now is the name of that. Um, so I can change the names later on. Uh, I actually did a mistake that, that I had a fixed width here and I was like, why is this um, overlapping? So you have, if you um, accidentally have this fixed width here, you need to delete that to set it to auto. And um, yeah, so this way I can go ahead and kind of paste all my columns here. I just need to do that once and then I can recreate what I had before. Um, so now I have um, all my four columns and I just need to replace the images. Oh. Um, so it's a bit of a repetitive work, but uh, this is actually Dreamscape. So um, I can nicely just copy paste the names from here. Maybe we can change that around later on um, if we want to kind of, we wanted to feature the the ones we liked in two columns, like the last, like the most, they're all kind of fun, but obviously I think there will be some variations that are more popular than others or just more um, compatible. Some are very just kind of fun and creative. So now I have my four column layout. I can kind of put that in. And one other cool thing is that we can now um, rename the group so I can rename that to kind of gallery or something. And I can just quickly show you how it looks. And one of the uh, cool updates for 6.4 is also that now we can um, set this to expand on click and that's actually really nice. So especially for the smaller images, um, I just have this automatic light box here now for the image block. 
and this makes it really cool. So that's just an easy way to kind of showcase all our blocks and I'm just checking um, if I have the spacing here in between that. So I added spacing here. I just need to add the spacing to the bottom here as well. I think that's how I will do that. Oh, that's the top. No, oh, I added both. Just default. default. Okay, now I'm messing up. What? Uh, no, I accidentally deleted the block spacing. No. So I wanted to keep that at 48 pixel, obviously. Then I... Oh, I have it to the bottom. Okay. Now I think I'm all good. And um, I just switch between the two columns and the four columns. So I can kind of just copy both blocks and continue here. Oh, okay, now this is outside. I think now I'm all good. Okay, two columns, four columns, two columns. Again, there's too much spacing here. I don't need to put that in. I don't need the top spacing. Okay, now this looks better. So yeah, you get the idea. Sorry for working a bit messy, but that's how it goes. So um, I have my layout, two columns, four columns, two columns, four columns, and they should um, automatically get to one column on mobile because it's the columns block. And then switch. Yeah, that looks actually kind of nice and how I wanted it. So yeah, this um, layout we will add it to our um, to our patterns in the next update. And one thing I also want to do now is I want to add that page, the newly created page to the navigation. I can quickly show you that. It's a little bit of a different topic and I then need to replace all the names and images, but that's a boring task. So. Um, let's go into the navigation. So I go under Appearance Editor. I'm in my live demo at the moment. And let's quickly um, add the new page. How do I do that? I just go into the header navigation. And I think this page is um, nothing I will actually need. So I'm just editing that and I will create the new page, uh, add the new page and maybe put that here. I'm not sure why I don't see spacing at the moment here. I will check on that. But yeah, that's um, already done. So I can just get out of the editor. Easy as that. Um, there is actually a little bit of too much spacing here, I think. I think I don't need to add the spacing in the page, so I can delete that. It's like doubled what happened here. Oh, I added it here and also here. I can delete that, 
reset all and for the I want a bit more spacing so 144 here okay that should look good now so yeah just by kind of randomly showing um, you pages I'm building I think it's a pretty cool idea to just publish more videos like that and show you how I'm actually working and that was a bit messy I have to admit um, yeah sometimes it's um, all working out building the pattern sometimes not and you can um, expect this pattern in the next uh, mock update if you don't know that we published this um, new theme you can find it in the WordPress repository um, just a mock WordPress theme. Um, this is it. And if you want to give it, um, try it out and you like the theme and want to give it a good rating, please do because the theme is just very new. We haven't had any ratings yet. And if you uh, ask questions that um, just you go to the support form here on WordPress.org and we can communicate there. And I will publish more videos for mock um, also on our YouTube channel and um, I'm having the blog post just published for more with documentation. We will add, actually just add documentation to the live demo here as well. So yeah, it's um, just a fun little blog theme we created while we were actually on parental leave the last month. So um, we just uh, wanted to do something fun and simple, something we could kind of manage in this time. And uh, Mock is the theme that came out and we really love it. I think it's refreshing to um, have a blog theme once in a while and yeah, just create something really different. Um, so check it out. It's a free theme on WordPress.org and let me know what you think and let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see more kind of videos um, like that with little tutorials or just kind of um, I'm sh me showing you how I'm working and building patterns on new pages for, for our themes. Thanks so much for watching and see you soon. Bye.